Hi guys and welcome back to part 2 of Let's Tour, the kind of modern city, the one that doesn't have a name unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to continue on. Um, I'm doing it straight after the other one if you guys haven't already noticed. Uh, it just makes everything flow a lot better. So what we do have is this multi-story uh, car park. And I quite like this one a lot. I like the colouring in it. Um, I like the use of snow here. Um, to actually create that banding, that's really awesome. They got a double decker bus. I'm not too keen on these, um, I gotta be honest. It's not my favourite, but let's have a look inside this double decker. What is it? Oh, that's a, that's a bus stop, okay. Cool. I like how they've named the bus stops actually. That's really cool. Right, let's have a look in here. Got the good striping there. Um, if you drive. I'm on, a, I'm on a path. I'm on a, I'm on a written, like a walking path. Okay, so if we go into here, there we go, so we've got a lot of spaces. Quite nice. How do you actually get up? So you'd have to go around this. Ooh. See, I'm not too keen about this because three blocks is quite a squeeze. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> you yeah, know, it's definitely possible. It's quite a squeeze. There we go, go to here. That's cool. I like this. I like this building. Um, I like how they've wrapped around these stairs as well, so they keep on just going like this. I say stairs, but you know, car ramp thing. Now this building, yeah, I'm still... Ah, wow. It's a very nice building. I mean, it's very simple. It's basically, they've just got a box. Um, got some, and you can see the kind of similarities. You've got those, then you've got two, then you've got those, then you've got those, and then you've got two and those. They've basically done that and then offset it. But it works. <laughs> it just works. Look at it. Cool. Um, it's just very cool. Uh, no interior, but I'm not surprised. It's you know, getting stairs and elevators to this thing would be nuts. Now, what have we got over here? Lots of kind of Victorian things. I would say that this is the train station. We'll have a really good look at that in detail. I think this is going to be like the main feature part. Whoa, it's lagging a little bit. And am I actually lagging quite a bit? Yeah, oh, good God. I've, yeah, I've gone down to like 30 FPS and I usually get 60. So that means that there is a lot of item frames somewhere. Or lots of lighting as well. That's oh, still not bad. Um, smoking room. They have those? I don't even know. Um, interesting. Uh, I quite like these little arches. These little window ways. And these like waiting rooms. That's nice. And ticket booth. That's cool. What have we got on the other side then? Maybe another ticket booth. Yeah, another ticket booth. Um, I actually really like as well. If I just get rid of these blocks. And get rid of that. <laughs> I quite like these kind of beams that they've put in as well, and that's like a little bit different and connects in, and obviously the chandelier, the the uh, big lamp. Uh, there we go. That's what you want. This is what you want it to feel like when you go into a train station. Um, bigger than it needs to be. And we've got, what, rear? Financial service. Oh, dear. Oh, dear God. You don't want to be there. Um, oh, I wonder what this golden arch M thing is. God. <laughs> no idea what that is. Uh... Oh, 7-Eleven as well. It's an American. There's nothing in the 7-Eleven. That's a shame. I kind of like those. What, how do I get into the... There we go. Here's the McDonald's then. Carola cheeseburger chips. So this is actually British, but there's a 7-Eleven. Because it's in pounds. Also, we say chips. We don't say fries. Well, actually, no. When you're in, when you're in McDonald's, you say fries. Yeah, you do. That's weird. Um, okay. I, these kind of like big... big beam things. They have quite a nice feature in it. They're very cool. But where are we? How do we get to um, the trains? I, w I was expecting the trains to be inside here. No. Have we just gone around full circle? Whoop. Yeah, I think we did. Right, I'm going to fly around and see if we can find where the actual trains are. I thought this was a train station. It just has that look of those open glass there. Oh, there we go. There's the train. So I went in the wrong way. Aha! Let's check out these, because I really... I don't know, when trains and train stations work, they really work well. Ah, oh, look at these, this is quite nice. So they've gone for, what, five wide? Five wide, yeah, so you can see they're always overscaled. I even like these that have been joined into this part, and these cabins. It's quite nice. Yeah, this is cool, this is very cool. Um, I mean, you know, trains are pretty standard. 
uh, in a way. You know, there's there's only so many ways and variations you can do. But I really like how these are actually laid out. These things. So from that central room, you'll be able to go to all of these. Could have done with some more stuff in that central room. Um, I really like this, and I really like how that would go. Yeah, I wonder if these would actually fit through there. I'm always so I'd, I'd say that this would have to be bigger because of the actual angle. You know, in real life, that is <laughs> not not in Minecraft. Um, I think that's gonna be. We get a screenshot of that, and yeah, yeah, trains. But that's one of the most inventive ways of doing it anyway. I love the I love the detail of the tracks. Uh, even though the tracks, I'm not keen on the actual rails uh, for using them. I use the anvils like Jag, Jag kind of does. Um, but yeah, that's very cool. Now this building is very nice as well. So let's look at this. Furnished by somebody, Oles, I think it was. Got some nice little stuff here. Um, bookshelves and ladders seem to work. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm just having a drink. Um, that's really cool. Oh, get in the. Oh, there we go. And ah, uh, yep, yeah, that's nice as well. There we go. That's cool. I like that. I like these. I I like these as well. Uh, using the rails as um basically grills. That's really nice. I like this funnel. Um, that's an item hopper with a sign on it. That actually fits in a lot better, because obviously if you have it like that, and this is what I've been doing in mine, I've had them like that, or use a cauldron. Oh, I don't want to do that, I want to post a sign on it. There. But actually the sign kind of covers it up and makes it fit. Never thought about it that way. Um, fireplace? Fireplace. Yes. That's really cool, nice little table. Um, how do we get upstairs? Is there an upstairs? Oh, there's an upstairs there. First we'll go into Oh, there's a cellar. Oh. So we've got these these nice string that looks really nice with the uh modern style style stuff. God, there's a boiler as well. <laughs> like if you can tell that that's actually a real functional thing that somebody's put in the basement, I think that works. And you've got a nice little speed car here. Um they are very low down. That's the only I don't like the Corralis' ones like this. I just always find that really low down, but that idea there um, is really good. There we go, where is it? There. That's what I'm looking at, the uh, fencegate. Looks really cool. I got a garage. That actually goes onto the street. Uh, so that's why it's raised up. Functionality. They could have done with some junk in here, like washing machines, general stuff. You know, general stuff's always good to put in. But let's have a look up the next floor. Kind of nice little thing here. Bedroom, quite quite kind of a, a standard bedroom, but it kind of does overlook a pretty, you know, industrial looking, um, what's it called, uh, train station. I also like how that window's up higher, because I think the other ones are down lower, and we'll have to have a, well, I'll have a look about that, um, at that to see, you know, how it changes everything. Then we've got a nice bedroom in here, creeper head, always good. Uh, this is really nice, this little corner piece. And also, of course, you've got your standard like shower, um, bathroom thing. Oh, it's shared. Okay, so this is a shared bathroom between two beds, two or well, two bedrooms. Really, really cool. Let's jump outside. Okay. So there you go. There's the window there. It doesn't look too out of place, but it does a little bit. It's kind of on the border, isn't it? Mm. But it's a really nice touch from the inside. It's a bit of a shame, but then again... Yeah, you can tell it's out of place now. Damn it. Oh well. Now I think this house is actually joined onto that one. It's a different house, and I quite like how they've used the... Uh, stairs here, and also the trap doors, as if they're like the shutters. That's really cool. Should we have a look at... The... Oh, actually, that looks cool. I like this tiered... Grass effect thing. Alright, so there we go. Oh, so this one. Tommy Gun... Let's... House 5. <laughs> okay, House 5. So I've got some nice sofa type things. Nice big, huge fireplace here. We've got lots of these. Uh, here we go, item frames. That might have been one of the reasons that it's lagging. So yeah, there's more still somewhere. But those are always good. Uh, fridge, very metallic fridge. Big tables, lots of item frames. Lots of item frames. Item frames are bad for your frame rate. I mean, terrible. It will like half. If you use like 100 item frames, then you'll be surprised how kind of little you need to place down. If you ever place down like 100 blocks or a stack in survival, you know that it's not as much as you think it's going to be. 
uh, item frames kill stuff. Now that is an idea. Look at that. Cactus in a flower pot as a stem. Genius. <laughs> so this is really good for me as well, walking around these in a bit more detail, because it gives me a lot more ideas. And hopefully it will give you guys ideas as well, because that was ridiculously good. Soap and um, shampoo. Again, really nice little idea. Uh, item frames which will lag, but still. Cool. And that was, what's this thing? Jukebox. Ah, okay. Cool. As long as I know what it is. It's fine. It goes into the corridor. But again, a really nice little house. There's some really good ideas in this as well. Um, especially for singular houses. Now I've got a back garden type thing. Which overlooks the beautiful Minecraft landscape. The kind of default stuff. But a nice little house there. And you can kind of see where the road stops. Um, I'm just going to fly around a little bit more. So I'm guessing those trains would then go underneath the ground here. That's the plan. Now oh, this is a grand house. This is a huge house. You can even see the stuff that's still under construction here. Um, I quite like this little row. I like how the lamps have changed. I don't know if you guys noticed that. But the lamps have changed styles as well. well that's a weird house. I'm not too sure about that one. Or that one. A few of them I'm not 100% sure about, but... Yeah, I mean, look, this one's under construction as well. That's quite cool, though, they're joining them together. But, um, yeah, lamp styles have changed. As it's changed, uh, kind of, petrol style. Also, this bit on the road as well, we've got these, like, edge pieces. That's quite cool. A really big, I'm guessing, custom tree would, would kind of be that one. Uh, but this, this house here is quite interesting. Let's have a look. Roadside apartment. So this is more of an apartment building. Which makes sense, because it's so huge. Let's have a look in here. Washing machine. Yes, this is like a clothes room, like a clothes drying. That's why we've got these hangers there. That's really nice. I like the hangers. More hangers. Excellent. So you kind of go into the apartment and, you know, you would then put your coat up. Um, you've also got like the laundry room in there. Cool. Uh, nice little flower there. Interesting. Cool. Use of stairs. I like that. Uh, TV. Definitely you've got your little living room. Uh, and bathroom, 100% bathroom there. And again, you've got like the shampoo and soap, really good idea. And what have we got here? A nice little bedroom with a TV as well. So as long as you can tell exactly what it is, like really quickly, that's kind of what you want. Oh, nice little, look at that nice little, nice little touch there. Oh my god. I would say that there was ice here. <laughs> yeah, there was ice here. There we go. I'll just take that away. Um, that's probably supposed to be another another bathroom. But yeah, with interior design, um, or with buildings in... Actually, yeah, with interior design, you should be able to walk in and tell exactly what that room is. Uh, that's when you know you've done a good job. Uh, like this, you 100% know that that's good. And look at that idea for item frames with an anvil in it to make like the actual things. That's really nice. I kind of like this clustered crazy style here as well. It's quite modern. Um, but yeah, make sure that it just is quite well done you know as, as long as you can walk in and go that's a blah 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 that's kind of what you want that's exactly what you want in yeah uh, but yeah uh, even a nice little detail there that I just noticed I flew through bins bins underneath the stairs you do see them in apartment buildings <laughs> so that's really cool I mean it's the things you don't even think about let's have a look at these as well another kind of same style so, some of these have kind of been cop copy and pasted, uh, at least layout-wise, but they're all a little bit different. I mean, look at this. This is a completely different kitchen. A uh, different style, using the kind of black wool, and different carpet and things, and big, big table, and some, like, hangers or something. Um, big room. So this one's, like, a little bit more corporate. I don't know. It feels a bit more corporate. And there you go. You've got the end, end ports. is always good. If you actually put an end eye in there, I'm actually going to do that, because... No, I'm not going to come back to this exact place, but if you do that, it always looks more like it's connected in. Um, so I always advise doing that. So they have definitely a bathroom. This place is a bit corporate, isn't it? It is. Yeah, and then you've got a nice little view over. And what else we got? More of this stuff. More of this stuff. You can tell what it is, which I love about that. I love it when, I love it when you can tell instantly. Um... Even with stuff that's ridiculously difficult. But that's a nice little design. 
And that worked out really well. Um, so let's fly over. Where haven't we gone? And that's difficult. I'm getting kind of to the end of this now, which is quite nice. So it's nice when you've been able to go through it in enough detail as well. So if we fly over this nice train station, I do really like the idea actually. It's kind of like a hub. If we fly over this side, now what is this? And is that ice? And if it is ice, it was ice. <laughs> So there you go, there's some of the ones I missed. They're all melting, unfortunately. Um, another couple of buildings. We've got this bridge, I think. There we go, there's one of the train tracks going off. Ah, I like this bridge. I like this. That's cool. Got the nice little archway there. And that goes off. There we go, there's two little bridges next to each other. This is quite a nice little design. Lots and lots of circles. Obviously, the boats then couldn't get through. That's the problem, you can only have small boats going through, but it's a really nice kind of traditional style bridge for that. Um, and then you've got these extended lights going across. That's really cool. Even this is quite cool, this um, train trackway. Really nice little touch. Uh, there's a couple of ideas. Bridges are always difficult, uh, but you just have to figure out sections. And I just go over like that. So we've got this. Uh, big, big building here. This will be an apartment building. Very Victorian. This one is very, very Victorian. Tiny little beach. Um, that's quite nice as well. I'm getting lag, which means item frames are about. Uh, should we have a look in here? Yeah, we might as well. This is kind of like a. This reminds me of like a castle. Um, and I'm down to 18 FPS. Look at the effect. Hopefully, you guys will know that item frames are bad. As you can see, like I've just gone into a different place, and I've been going from 60 to like terrible. Whoa. Um, what is going on? I think it's getting worse whenever I look in certain directions. So it's like a nice little restaurant. This is the kitchen. Huge kitchen. I like that. Look at that. Yes. That's cool. That's ridiculously cool. 101, 104 even. So got a nice little table. Bedroom. What about a bathroom though? Ah, oh, it's flooded. See, you gotta get flooding protection. <laughs> oh well. I kind of like these mixed, I like the mixed max, mix and matching kind of tiles that they keep on doing, that's really cool. So there we go, that's a nice little one. Um, if we fly up, I want to try and see, I was flying to this one. We've got the balcony. It's like Emperor, Emperor's room, maybe. Oh, it's just a random little thing, okay. Let's more go straight into a bedroom. Not the grandest, this one isn't the grandest. Weirdly, some of these buildings, when you go higher up, where you'd think you would get the kind of higher class, you're actually not, but that's a really nice building. I like how they've kind of made it functional as well, instead of it just being like a kind of very Victorian, kind of almost castle-esque type building. Very grand, they've actually turned it into something a bit more. Now, what have we got here? A nice little bridge. Love it when you get these. These are always cool. Tunnel made by, yeah, it's a nice little tunnel. What? What is with these? These are weird. <laughs> Perfection. That's a really weird idea. I don't know what the hell's going on in here. What else with these? I mean, I. <clears throat> it's like got a word and then trying to describe it. I guess that's. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, ever. <laughs> in Minecraft, anyway. Anger, yeah. That's definitely anger. I don't know, that's quite cool. I might do something like this in my city and just have like miniature biomes in windows. As if they're like adverts or something, I don't know. Hunger. That's, that's so strange. It's really, really odd. I really didn't think I was going to see anything like that. But again, detail. Oh, there we go, that's the train station again. And what have we got down here? A couple of little shops. I love the little shops. Uh, really cool. Oh, this is interesting. I'm guessing this is, yeah, this is half of a... This is like a nice... This is a very Victorian street down here. Uh, especially with the pattern way. And again, we're going to get a load of frame rate drop because we have got some uh, some item frames. God, we got loads somewhere. But I like that. That's a very Victorian street. And it's, it's right, it kind of fits in the city as well. 
Um, that's really nice. Uh, this building I'm not too keen about. I don't really like the roof. There isn't enough variation for me. I, I like the variation on them. Um, but what is this? Massive clock tower. That's a cool clock tower. It's big. Very, very cool. That is very cool. Yeah, that works. Like I was, oh, I was just about to jump in there, but is this the town hall then? I would say so, if we can find the entrance to it. There we go. Yeah, town hall. Instantly you can tell it's the town hall, as soon as you look at it from the right direction. But, um, there's lots of cake around as well. Wow. There you go. <laughs> lots of people like this one. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I think this will be a nice finishing point as well, as, as we kind of wander around here. But, yeah, the detail in this is incredible. Look at that. Look, the roof is just perfect. Uh, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's perfect. You know, you've got, like, two here, then you've got the, the things, and you've got one. But it's, it, it's perfect because it's very, very detailed. And it's a roof. People don't usually look up, but this makes you look up. And, oh, we, we got, oh, yeah, we got, like, government officials here. Continuity Hall. That was really weird. I thought that those were on an angle. Is it just me, or do... Yeah, it's just me. It's just some... It might have been just... I don't know. Very strange. Weird. What is all this? So they got all the meetings and stuff on there. Uh, another little area here. What's this? See, it's the royal people, the Supreme Court. Wow, look at that. How did that, that fit? This fits in perfectly well. It's like a courtroom. I like that. The President. Parliamentary Secretary. How cool is that? That's very, very nice. And I love how like you've got these seats up here as well. So I, I don't know if you guys even noticed that. <laughs> but yeah, really cool. Eye stone. Oh, well, good. Yeah, yeah, eye stone. You always need an eye stone. So we keep on going around here. Nice windows overlooking this point here. So yeah, I mean, that's a ridiculously cool place. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tour. If you want to have a, a, a kind of check out the map... Um, for ideas and things, I mean, we've gone kind of through a huge amount of the city, you know, going, just, just flying around, having to explore, and having to look at the stuff that kind of interests you. Uh, that's one thing you should always do when you're looking for kind of inspiration. See what catches your eye, and then try and take it apart. Like, you know, this one is just squares, but pushed aside, but it's done ridiculously well, and it looks pretty epic. Um, but even the basic stuff that you might not think about, I mean, look, there's a there's a road that's going down here. Uh, now this one wouldn't fit the cars really, you know, across them. But look, there's a tunnel. Uh, this kind of stuff is really, really cool. I love this kind of stuff. Um, this is the kind of stuff I've, I've started to put into my own city as well. Just these like little hidden bits um, that just kind of seem to take you on a little bit of a journey, uh, so that when you're like, uh, you know, showing your friends around your own server or your city. You kind of get lost, and you saw how we went from kind of like over there, and then came out into here, and it was just like <sighs> skyscrapers. <laughs> it's really cool. It takes yourself on a journey. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to actually kind of post in the comment section below for what I should do next. Um, I will be doing a World of Coralis one as well in kind of full detail. It's just that it's such a big one. I want to get some of the smaller ones out of the way first, um, as World of Coralis will take you know years to go through. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.